If you unlock the bootloader and root your phone, or maybe you just installed a custom ROM, then you have likely seen the message that the device is not certified when checking the About section of the Play Store app. In this video, I will show you how to manually certify your phone or tablet so that it is Google Play Protect certified. The first thing we need to do is find the Android ID of the device we're looking to certify. On the website Google created to manually certify smartphones or tablets, they say that we need to execute some ADB commands to do this, but there's actually a much easier way. We can find the Android ID of our device by installing an application called Device ID from the developer Evozi. I'll link to the Google Play Store page in the video description below, but if you're unable to download it there, then I'll also include a link to APK Mirror where it can be sideloaded after it has been downloaded. And after we open up this application, we actually want to copy the Google service framework. So we're going to help go ahead and tap that and then tap the copy option right there. Now we just need to go to the website Google created that allows us to manually register our smartphone or tablet to be Google play protect certified. I will be sure to include the link to this website in the video description as well, but it can be found at google.com slash android slash uncertified. Now we can paste that code that we got from that app right here. Make sure that you tap the box here to tell Google that you are not a robot. And then we can tap the green register button down there at the bottom. You saw that message saying that Google is converting that into a number string, and then it will be added to the bottom of this page here. It may take some time before the newly registered device is certified with Google Play Protect, but you can keep an eye on this status by checking the About section of the Google Play Store application. Let me know if this video was able to help you by leaving a comment down below. If you ran into any issues during this process, or if you just have a question about Android in general, then again, leave a comment and I'll try to help out as soon as I'm able to.